And then there's yet another transportation change just in time for the final four, not to be outdone by the other transportation service companies. Indy Yellow Cab made an announcement just today on Facebook. They have also created an app just like some of the other companies that we'll be talking about in just a bit. With just a few clicks of the button, you can actually page a Yellow Cab as well. Thousands of visitors have a new way to take in the Circle City and get from the airport to their hotels now that Uber and Lyft have signed new agreements with the Indianapolis International Airport. They're both great services, both, uh, both great ideas, and I'm, I'm glad they're here in the city. Drivers of the app-based transportation services anticipate many of the estimated 70,000 people here for the Final Four will need a ride during their visits. I don't think it'll be quite as big as the Indy 500, um, but I do think uh, demand will definitely be up. And prices will likely go up, too. The Indianapolis Uber general manager says typically a ride with the service is about 40% cheaper than a traditional taxi, but prices are not fixed. It's an algorithm that calculates every few minutes, 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. Uh, yeah, I don't have control over it, um, but it, the, the beauty of it is is that uh, you know the average arrival time in Indianapolis is under four minutes, and when demand spikes, say during the Big Ten Championship or Final Four or Indy 500, the arrival time still maintain around under four minutes, right? And that's a beautiful thing, and that's the, the benefit of the dynamic pricing model. Still, some riders say they're willing to pay the price for the convenience and ease of mobile-based transportation. If it's too much, you take a taxi, but it just seems like Ubers are more friendly, more one-on-one, -on -one, if that's a thing, and it's you know what you're going to get. Lyft actually places a cap on its demand-based price increases. Riders can expect to pay no more than 200% more. Still, with this busy weekend, these transportation services said that they will likely pay more than they would on an average weekend. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.